Hello everybody, uh, this is Amin Mojira again, and um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get around some of the problems that um, you may face when running um, a Vagrant development environment using CentOS 7 and Node and Nginx. Um, so I wanted to um, start to address some of the issues that you may have. Um, first, um, one of the issues is proxying um, Node to Nginx. So right here I have in my Vagrant file um, this private IP address that I've set up. And um, here's my folder where I have my apps running. Excuse me. So what I want to do is I have my Nginx file here that I've put in my um, um, Nginx um, configuration file on my box. And then I ran all these commands to um, when I provisioned uh, my box also. So if I go ahead and I do a vagrant SSH and I sign into my box and cd slash opt slash dev. So um, I'm inside the directory where I want to run my node app. So if I go node, hello, JS, um, I got an error. Uh, oh, I know what the problem is. So let me go sudo nano hello.js and wrong IP address. So Oops, 24, all right, and I want to go control X, yes, and clear, so I should be able to run this now, yeah, so now I'm going to be running this on, uh, it's, even though it's spitting out the wrong console message, it's on 24, so if I refresh this, um, as you can see, it's not changing. Um, if I go 8080, we should see it. So we see the hello world, but on port 80, we don't see it. This is because on all the CentOS images that I found on Vagrant, they have SE Linux running. And when you're running on your local environment, you really don't need that. So all you need to do is run a command. Um, if I come back over here, um, and if I ran a uh, vagrant provision, um, it would have done this. But if I run this command here, uh, set enforce to zero. So let's go sudo set enforce to zero. And now if I run my hello.js and I refresh, refresh, refresh this, I should see this page is not temporarily available. And why is that? Uh, let me check my Nginx conf. That's etc, Nginx conf. And so if I come down here, or I probably need to restart Nginx also. So my proxy is right. So I'm good with everything. Let me just restart um, Nginx. Um, so Control X. Um, let me go get the command that I need. And let's go system CTL start. Restart Nginx. So, all right. So we're going to restart Nginx. We're going to go ahead and run that node command again. And we should have the hello world. So I just needed to restart um, Nginx after I set that enforce to zero. So that's the first thing that we had to deal with when it comes to um, Vagrant, CentOS, and Nginx and Node. The other thing specifically with CentOS and Node.js and Vagrant that we have to deal with. And remember, we want to be able to proxy and run our app on, on the top level part of the domain um, 
of course, if we ran it on, of course, we can still see the app on 8080 if we needed to. But, you know, we want to run it on port 80, um, which is the standard port. So that's good. Um, so if I stop this and say, for instance, I want to go ahead and I want to run a uh, NPN install based on a package.json. So what I want to do is... Let me cd into a into a test directory. So if I look in this directory right here, I have this package.json. And if I cat it, I have all these things that I want to run. And I, and I want this dev dependency, this mocha dependency. So I need to run an npm install on this. So let me show you what happens when I try to do this npm install. To load my node modules. Oh. Well, it loaded them this time only because of the fact that um, the last time what I ran was this. So let me delete those modules real quick. Um, RM RF node modules. So Clear. Let me go up one directory. Uh, section 2.4 ls. This has a package.json. Let me see what this one has. Oops. JSON. Uh, so it has low dash. So let's do an npm install on this one and see if I can get the error that I'm looking for. npm install. Um, looks like it's going to give me the error that I want. So one, it's taking too long. Um, I don't know. It did load everything. Um, so basically, um, what I was basically trying to show you um, is the 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 initial npm install that you'll uh, that you'll get that uh, messes up. Um, if you if you get errors, if you get a bunch of errors in there. What you want to do is you want to run npm npm install no no bin links. So with no bin links uh, prevents the errors that default with the Vagrant CentOS um, installation. So if I go rm dash rf um, no modules get rid of those and I run this npm install with no bin links, then I should have no problem. That flag right there prevents any of the errors that you might get, um, which unfortunately um, I do I do get. So as you can see, everything was installed correctly. Um, so um, that's basically solves the problems that you'll have with Node, CentOS, Nginx, and Vagrant. Um, spin up as many Vagrant environments as you need to. Um, I encourage you not to work directly on your primary OS anymore. Just spur spin up virtual machines and develop off of those. Um, and like for me, I have like 13, 14 right now that I'm spinning up. You can do WordPress sites and all that. And just remember that set enforce to zero. Um, um, turn off your um, SE Linux on your CentOS boxes. All right. Thank you for watching this video and I hope that this helped.